Hey, Ranger Rick. Am I on yet? And now you're on. Okay, Ranger Rick Caesar. Uh, we'll be Loke. ready to do a show in a couple of minutes. Okay, very good. Micah is really excellent at this. Hey, Dr. Mom. L.A. Eric. Mike B. Oh, you thank you. Loud and clear. Yeah, my lumberjack look. Dennis and I went, <laughs> I said to Dennis, Dennis said, I need something uh, at uh, Marshall's department store. And there was a little Marshall's here on Broadway. And I said, oh, I have a hundred dollar gift certificate. So uh, let's go. So I bought shirts and he bought pants. And I got to the register and I said, oh, we just uh, don't, don't take out your wallet. It's all going to come off the gift certificate. And he looked and he said, uh, that gift certificate is for Michael's. <laughs> <laughs> oh my yeah, gosh they uh, both have michael red lo they both have uh, red logos named michael marshall i'm sure yeah my yeah that's right what do you mean this is not uh well it was too late to go put everything back so i just put it on a card and it just killed me because michael's just closed their big store on the upper west side Oh my gosh, you're back. Oh, you know, I thought you went for a long time. Uh, to, to, I thought you went to Jim. I thought Jim Reed, I thought you went to London to work for, do you just go for a week or two? Anyway, uh, George Davis said, oh, can I add a, a question to the to a poll? So at some point, you know, we'll let a couple of weeks go by. I said, okay, if we poll the chat room to come up with poll three, would that be all right? And for BFR? Michaels locks up their paint. Oh, you know, I think in New York City, it might be a law. Spray cans have to be locked up. I dreamed I was swimming in an ocean of orange. Oh, my God. I dreamed I was swimming in an ocean of orange soda, but it turned out to be a Fanta sea. You know, uh, I expected, I was hoped to get an email from Captain J, but I haven't heard anything, and I don't even know if he's in chat today. Uh, Captain J lives in Florida and lived through that hurricane and now has i believe a partial house um we were talking to him uh in chat during the gizwiz and i asked if he could do a video or at least be chat room celebrity of the week and talk about what it was like to live through that storm Everything at Michael's is 50% overpriced, and that's why they keep giving you a coupon for 50% off. It's usually in the other Gizwiz chat. There are two chats? Oh. I didn't even know that. The other Gizwiz chat is very special. There might be oh. one in Discord. You know, we have the, the, the club has their Discord. Oh, oh, oh maybe she just meant it, it's a Gizwiz show chat when we do the show on Thursdays. Oh, oh, it could be that too. Yeah, the fizz, that could be that the whiz, too. The whiz, but he's, he says he's whiz. <laughs> whiz. Look, look. Uh, yes, look, that look. one. Okay. Ah, look. Okay. Good look. Mm, All right. Mm, mm, Let me think. Um, I do believe that uh, everybody can see me. Hello. Goodbye. Okay. Um, so that means the TriCaster is on the stream. I have the recordings running. All right. Okay. And can, and can we go to that that card? Uh, uh, I pulled that up. Let me pull it up again. Make sure I got it right. Okay. Control. Okay, good. Oh, you you can put in. Look at that guy's long hair. I okay. love him so much. Uh, uh, uh. You know, um, I was a big fan of Doctor Demento in high school, 
and uh-huh. you know early college when uh, he was on KMET. It was a KLOS in Los Angeles Sunday nights. You know, it was like 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. It was a ritual. And then on Monday uh-huh. morning, we'd all go and laugh about and try to remember and ha- how to sing the various He's things. still on, isn't he? Oh, Dr. yeah, yeah. He's on the, on the oh, web. Yeah. yeah, you can you can subscribe to his shows. I usually uh, do the uh, around Christmas time, uh, listen to one of his Christmas shows. I haven't been into the weekly thing that you know I used to when I was much younger and more impressionable. But, you know, <laughs> Dr. Nemento discovered... Mr. Yankovic. Really? Mr. Oh, okay. Yankovic came and performed one of his first songs in the studio oh with Dr. Nemeno. Another one rides the bus. Oh my you know? gosh. And uh I uh you know, I, I've known Mr. Weird from the beginning and, and appreciate him so much. And did go see him at uh the Greek theater in Los Angeles and his mom introduced him and I yelled at his mom. What about the sauerkraut? Anyway, you would, you would have to know. You have to know also, the album song. Weird Al did a tribute to Mad and Al Jaffe in the Mad Seventy. Beautiful. Uh, anyway, okay. All right, so we are ready to do a show. Recorders are going yes, to the stream, and I'm going to tell everyone that today we are recording the 498th episode of the Giz Fizz. On this wow. Saturday, which is the 22nd day of October. And it's going to begin in three, two. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for. It's the Giz Fizz with the Giz Whiz. It's kind of like Cheese Whiz. It's the Giz Fizz. And now your host. Matt's Mattis Ryder and the Giz Whiz, Dick DiBartolo! Welcome to regular, old-fashioned Giz Whiz! Wow. Wow. The Harp Ladies are with us, and we're going to have captions, actually... And have photos from George Davis that you caption. We're going to play match game. We're going to do logo. We're going to write some snappy answers to a stupid question. All on this episode of Giz Fizz. Right after we ask. Who wants to be chat room celebrity of the week? And the Crickets are here with their latest album. Wow. Crickets in stereo. Okay, well, let's do our photos. I, uh, we put up a photo. I describe it in case you are just doing audio. And then you make up captions for the photo. And here is photo number one. Okay, it is somebody carving a pumpkin. And if you watch Gizwiz, I think two weeks ago, Chad bought the Gizwiz gutter that you hook into an electric drill uh, so you can empty out a pumpkin really fast. Uh, So it is someone digging out a pumpkin before they carve the face. Uh, Buddy Holiday, uh, Blood and Gourd. Oh, that's funny. It's baby OMG Chad carving pumpkins. Chad trying to trying out his new gadget, Blood and Gourd. That hurts. Stop. Another pumpkin mash. Getting the makeup. Uh, Headless Horseman starter kit. We'll be doing that in ten days. Chad before he got the gutter. OMG Chad feeding his dogs. Capital punishment for pumpkins. I've been carving and carving and still haven't found a jack wool. Dr. Dementio did it. Oh, okay. Different uh, sentiment there. Uh, oh, great. This one has orange spider webs in it. Next, Chad using the pumpkin gutter manual style. 
Pumpkin jiggers work too. Jigglers work too. Scooping brains. Uh, scooping the be Jesus from Giotto's head. M80 would be fast. A new helmet. The great pumpkin murders. <laughs> What's next? The hammer and cutouts. Yeah. If you saw a Thursday show. Um, can't wait till my sister gets a little bit older and she can do this. This is before you guys showed the pumpkin gutter, pumpkin pudding. <laughs> Chumley says, see anything in there, Doc? And we'll end with Rintero. I still haven't seen the pumpkin spice. Uh, okay, George said, for the young person digging out a pumpkin, my caption is, you're right, Dad. Digging out this pumpkin is hard on the arm. I'm glad we only have to do it once. Oh, I'm glad we're only doing one. They're only doing one pumpkin in that household. Uh, okay. Photo two. Uh, oh, wow. Two zebras side by side drinking water from a pond. And we see a reflection of the two of them in the pond. So that's a great shot. A great shot. Uh, Dalma starter kit. Four zebras kissing. Four Zs. A mirror test pattern. Dancing zebras. Kissing zebras. How many zebras do you see? Uh, I think I'm seeing quad now. Shadow of my former self. Come here often. Test pattern for wildlife channel. Those zebras are in a... What is that? Uh, and anti oh, anti enantiomers. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, okay. Oh my God, Myra's right on that. Hey, we got twins. Zebra four by four off roading, synchronized drinking. Uh, twins or quadruplets. They're disappearing to find the water hole. They're looking in the alco hole. You can lead a zebra to water, but you can't. Oh, wait, they are drinking. Two zebras drinking the air from below. Which Z wore which Z watch? Is that photo upside down? I found my shadow mate. What happens when you fall asleep while the highway guy paints the road stripes? Well, that's funny. Okay. George said, for two zebras standing next to each other, my caption is, do you think, Harry, that because we were born just a minute apart, that the guest in the zoo will think we're identical twins? Um, okay, I've got no twin answers. Uh, okay, photo three. Uh, okay, two doors. One is tangerine color and one is pink. Okay, two doors to a an apartment, I guess. They're kind of smallish doors. One pink and one tangerine-y. Okay, the door in the middle. Let's make a deal. Not 10 Downing Street, but it could be Liz's new home. Liz Trust's new home. Interesting knob placement. Well, you're right. One doesn't even have a knob, does it? Um, one has it in the middle of the door. Two doors. Which one is yours? Doorknob in the middle. Double in a bust. His and her entrance. Beautiful curtains. 17 Downing Street, where, where a retirement home full is. The Sherbets live next door to the Easter, Easterers. Sherbet Town. And the colors must match. Knock, knock. Who's there? Quick, paint them white before the nuclear attack. One of these doors is not like the other. One belongs to Barbie. One belongs to Ken. And we'll end with Chumley. How in heck does the doorknob in the middle even work? No, you're, no, you're absolutely right. That is weird. Uh, okay, George said, with two apartment doors, one orange and one pink, my caption is, you know what, Andrew? I just can't live here with a pink door. I'm going to request to paint it light green and hope the management says it's okay. 
Okay. Okay, photo four. Oh, wow. Photo four is a train yard. And we see lots and lots of crossovers and switches. Okay, train, railroad yard, tons of crossovers and switchers. Very busy train yard, it turns out. Um, mm -mm. Hard to keep track of what's going where, what's going on here. We're on the right track for profit. Take the right fork. Which right fork? Finally on the right track. Every time I think I'm on the right track, I end up here. Dickie D's new railway backyard. Train yard is modeled on the spaghetti dish. So oh, that's funny. Um, turns and turns and turns. Train derailment coming soon. Hope switches have enough coffee to stay alert. Railroad version of shoots and ladders. I have a one-track mind, so this is too much for me. Take the line on the list, switch it to the line in the middle at the crossing. Welcome to train training. I'm your trainer, Tran Trainer. The road less traveled, Robert Frost. No humping. I took a train once, but they made me put it back. Uh, my train of thought to any problem. What is that? O gauge. Make a switch at the middle track. Go right and stop at the rock pile. You never know where you're going. Are we on the right track? You can't get there from here. Next train to Disneyland. And we'll end with Sluggo. Designed by a committee. Um, and George said, looking down over a large railroad yard. My caption is, the paperwork they gave me when I started working here said, keep all track switches in a good lubricated condition. That's not hard to remember. And no humping. Do you know what no humping is? No. Okay. Uh, and railroads. <laughs> humping is when they run a railroad car over. It's like a ray. It's a hump in the tracks. And it's a way to uncouple a boxcar really quickly by rolling it over the hump. And then the car rolls down a hill. And this, in the switcher, in the switch yard, the guy throws the switch, depending on which track that boxcar should end up on. And certain cars uh, should not be bounced over that. And, and, and those cars say on them, do not hump. Uh, okay, photo number five. <laughs> uh, a kid doing his imitation of the Gizwiz. A kid with a mustache. Uh, early Dickie D. Um, uh, I thought it meant no dirty business in the trolley. Early puberty, mini me Gizwiz, young Dick D. Bartolo, Babe Ruth, 2022 edition, fermented chocolate milk mustache, Gizwiz Halloween costume, Gizwiz baby picture, Gizwiz alpha. Where did my fuzzy caterpillar go? Found the caterpillar. This is more than a training mustache. Looks like he needs a lawn mower. Mom sent me to for a pack of luckies. <laughs> That's very funny. Uh, you heard about low T. This is high T. Tom Selleck's sixth grade picture. Sorry, son, you're not old enough to join the army. Ron Swanson in elementary school. They recruit those train engineers early. Boxcar Willie. Trex Tech says witness protection program for youngster. Handlebars next. I'll have a beer with that burger. I want to be a man, but I'm only a kid. And we'll end with Bill in Michigan says, wax mustache tastes like licorice. I think the Fuller Brushman had a son. Oh, that's funny. That's good. Uh, let's see. George said, for the young man, young boy with a mustache, my caption is, believe it or not, I started growing this mustache at age 11 
And this year I'm going as a young Tom Selleck. Oh, so you got a match. A couple of people said Tom Selleck. Yay. And six of six is this. Kitty. Oh, the cute kitty cat, young kitty, uh, playing with what kind of cards are they? Tarot cards. I don't know. Looks like yeah, look like some modern age tarot cards. Kitten yeah. and a cat. Yeah, exactly. Kitten and cards. Kitten and cards. We'll call it. Um. Aha! Uh -huh, Raven poor kid has the beat. The beatus. Kitty tarot cards. Hurry up and draw a card. <laughs> Fortune telling cat makes millions. That's very funny. Where's that death card? Tarot. Taro. Cat telling a dark future. That's my card. It's a cat catastrophe. Kitty tarot. There are treats in your future. Meow, meow. Kitty throwing uh, tarot cards. Tarot card says, feed me. That's funny. Uh, cat fortune tellers, something get, getting knocked over is a good bet. You take this card, now feed me. Pick a card, any card. I see cat tr treats in my future. I see your future. All these cards pushed off the table. Cards say there are mice in your future. Let's see how many of my nine lives I have left. That's his poker face. Egyptian tarot. You've drawn the beef stick card. Feed me. Go fish. I'm going to play Euro Reversi on the death card. Crystal ball on the way. Only $200 for the cat to tell your future. And we'll end with Roberto, who says, Charlie is getting his fortune taken. Uh, okay. George says, for a young cat playing a board game, my caption is, this card I have here, number 66, nullifies all of your cards, Ken, and that makes me the winner. Uh, okay. And George has things you may not know about, about the three bears fairy tale. Okay. The first antagonist causing problems for the three bears was blank. The first antagonist causing problems for the three bears was the ranger, Goldilocks, was Yogi out of town, Goldilocks is a jerk. Yeah, I thought it was Boo Boo, Weird Al, Lenny the Crooked Plumber. <laughs> Uh, the three pigs, adjectives, the ornery bear, smoky, no. <laughs> bronze locks, silver locks, then Goldilocks. I'm not quite sure. It, wasn't it just Goldilocks? Uh, oh, let's see. Um, the first antagonist, I'm going to read the answer. The first antagonist causing problems for the three bears was an old woman who jumped out a window and died after breaking a small chair when the bears returned home. I don't, I don't know that. Uh, it's a different story than the one I was told. Uh, me too. The second antagonist was a young girl with what color hair and what was she called? I find blue, Katy Perry, blondie, blonde, red ginger. Blonde hair, Goldilocks. No, it's so funny because 
a dreadlock. Someone said silver locks earlier. And this is what this is what uh, I'll just read. The second antagonist was a young girl. She had silver hair and was called Silver Locks. She's making this up. I guess she's making this up. Okay. Uh, some fun facts. A dog's sense of smell is 100 times stronger than humans, but they have only one-sixth the taste buds. Okay. Uh, uh, fun animal fact number two, small animals such as chipmunks and squirrels, because of their metabolism, see in slow motion. Okay. Uh, George says, we did it, everyone. We had another week fly by. See you next time. Bye, George. Thank you, George, very much. Um, I, I see Jim would be as found. All right, so Weird Al, as I mentioned, uh, or maybe it was before the show. Weird Al's a big Mad fan, okay? And uh, he actually edited an entire issue of Mad. They sent all the material to him, and Al edited that issue. Um, we've had lunch with Al many times at the Society of Illustrators. Uh, he wrote a tribute to Jaffe and Mad in the Mad 70. And he sends me a birthday card every year. And this year, for the first 20 seconds, I thought, did he do this for me? And then as the card went on and got more and more complicated, I realized it's a thing. And that you can go to that website and actually test your own name and so, Jeremy B., you want to go to the website where you can get this card? You can view it for free. Oh, here you go. Oh, hey, Dick. How you doing? Al here. Listen, um, I, I know you're super busy. You got a lot going on. Uh, I, I really hate to bother you, but, um, well, there, there's something I've been meaning to tell you, and I'm afraid it just can't wait any longer. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear Dick. <laughs> happy birthday to you. Hey, it's your birthday, gotta be your birthday, you know what I was told today. It's pretty neat, isn't it? So you go there and you put in the name. And if you don't know that, you can put in brother, sister, uh, and then you can pick out a specific age or you can just say whatever you want. You can do it for holidays and other people have it. I mean, there are, you know, Chad was asking, he said, is it possible that he recorded all those names? Uh, yeah. You know, we used to do that on Match Game. Gene Rayburn would do a generic plug for match game. And then he would sit down and say, Hey, everybody at WQXR. And then they would run uh, and, and he would just read lists of, of local stations uh, so that they could edit it and send every local station uh, a little uh, preview. <laughs> JMR, who's a hundred. And you, at that website, Dolly Parton has her own version of it with one of her songs. There's no jammer B. Oh, there's, <laughs> there's not even a jammer. Oh, oh my God. You could edit it. Well, there's I a could John. Edit my own. Oh, yeah. Is, isn't there a John at least? Who cares? Yeah. Okay. Lots of John. 
Uh, and yeah, no chairman would be. All right. So that, that that's very clever. Such a clever idea. All right. That, um, all right. So we're going to do some logo, et cetera. Oh, and uh, might be just put the uh, logo up to Weird Al's version of doing that. Mm-mm-mm. Oh, brands, brand. Uh, I thought it was number nine, but it's brands <laughs> ending in uh, and I X X X X brands ending in X. Oh, subscribe DVD subscription service that started in two thousand seven. Yeah, I bet, I bet they're sending out lots of DVDs these days. <laughs> Uh, 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 Bendix, uh, Vix Vape, no, not quite, not quite. A cereal rabbits can't resist. A cereal rabbits can't resist. Of course, it was Netflix, the other one, right? Uh, uh, uh. Uh, wow. <laughs> Dominatrix. <laughs> it's interesting. You can almost tell what campaigns really scored and which flopped. A, a candy that asks to decide left or right a candy that asks decide left or right oh my god oh my god twix has done a number whoa Wow. Oh, the cereal that's kid tested, mother approved. The cereal that's kid tested and mother approved. <laughs> Democracy chocolate. <laughs> uh huh? Oh, not so successful with this. <laughs> Congressional caramels, Cheerios. Do you know Myra? No. Fruit Lupix? <laughs> <laughs> Jamma B, do you know? Kid tested, mother approved? Ah, uh, no. Uh, wow. Okay, I thought more people would get it. It is kicks. A lot of people got it though. Okay, kicks. Kid tested, mother approved. Uh, uh, um. Oh, it's strange that I know what this is. Okay. By what name is this burger known? By what name is this burger known? Yeah, it's more than White Castle. Oh, okay. Oh, very good. I have those in my freezer. What was your answer, Myra? Just White Castle. Um, that's only half the answer. Gemma B. Uh, I saw, I, I didn't know, but I see it in the chat room slider. Okay. It's very interesting. I never, I would have said White Castle too, except the last box of White Castle I bought is in a totally new box that says Little White Castle and then big sliders. Okay. So evidently 
they decided to make it known that they're sliders. Um, mm -mm. What news group labeled the White Castle slider as the most influential burger ever? A weird question. What news group named the White Castle slider as the most influential burger ever? <laughs> Dr. Mom said Arby's. <laughs> CNN. Yeah, the White Castle <laughs> News Group. I mean, yeah. Yeah, I don't, so, I don't know how. Well, the card could... will tell us. Yeah, fake news. NBC. It's very hard to get this. No, yeah. The Grilled Onion. Oh, that's fun. National Enquirer. Uh, no one got it. All right. I don't, for some reason, it was time.com who called it the most influential burger ever. What? <clears throat> I know. I know. And in case you missed uh, the radio spot, when Time Magazine first came out, it was a comic book. And Time Magazine. Uh, 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 not Time Magazine. The place you work. The what? Time Magazine didn't first come out as a comic book. Some other magazine did. You used to work there, or you still work there. I yeah, still semi-worked there. When when Mad came out, it was a comic book. You said Time originally. And, oh, okay. And Time Magazine called it. A uh, review was, Mad Comics will be a short-lived publication. Uh -uh. And for a while, we were part of Time. But they <laughs> One day, Bill called me and he said, well, guess what? We're part of Time Magazine now. And I said, what does that mean? And he said, well, the way it works over there, uh, for the first three years, they won't know that they own us. And then they'll find out they own us and they'll try to distance themselves for us because they don't want anything to do with mid. He said, so for five years, don't worry about anything changing. And then at some point, uh, we were spun off. I don't know where they put us. Uh, oh, I guess we we became part of DC Comics. But Oh, okay. In what 2004 comedy movie had an alternate title of Harold and Kumar get the munchies? Which 2004 comedy movie was alternately titled Harold and Kumar Get the Munchies? Uh, <laughs> Reef of Madness? Ah! Oh, my goodness. Very good chat room. We got to go to White Castle. We got to got to White Castle and we got to look for White Castle. So what's the correct <laughs> new movie title? Caesar has the correct answer. Go to White Castle. Harold and Kumar go to White Castle. But that doesn't need an IX. I think I have the questions a little mixed up. Oh, you know what? I know this slogan. I have no idea the number. This is a, a great question. Customers who buy them by the sack get how many White Castle sliders in a bag? It's so funny because I know that slogan. It was like on the building, buy them by the sack. Customers who buy them by the sack Get how many White Castle sliders? <laughs> Look at how many people wrote too many in a row. Oh, oh, oh no. that is uh, so... Now, that is, uh, to be fair, Rintaro is saying that you got two too many. You know, like oh, it's supposed two, to be 12 right, and you got 14. Right. So, so Rintaro was, you know, being an iconoclast there. That is so funny, chat room. 10, 12, 25, a baker's dozen, 100, not enough. There you go. Not, I love White Castle hamburgers. Um, 12, 
I think 12 makes the most sense. Me too. Uh, what's, what's, what I, what's I, your I would guess 12. 12. Myra? Um, 27. 27. <laughs> <laughs> three people. Nine tiny, oh, okay. Little, little tiny sliders. They slide right in your mouth. Customers who buy them by the sack get how many White Castle sliders in a bag? Oh, they get 10. Oh, not even a Baker's Dozen. No. <laughs> Jim Baker's <laughs> Dozen, Redacted says. That's a strange, ah, that's ah, a ah, strange, ah. yeah. I don't know if we did this, but we did not do it anyway. Boy, what percentage of Americans can identify Ireland on a map? What percentage of Americans can identify Ireland on a, oh my God, chat room is so low. Holy cow. Dr. Mom says 3% and none of them are Irish. You know, it's funny, it, it's either very high or very low. There's sort of no middle ground. <laughs> Mike B says, Americans are idiots. Holy cow. I'm going to say, I don't know, a third, less than 30%. Sure, I'll go 25. That's less than 30. All right, 25%. I'll go 25%. Myra, lower? How, how long? 10%. 10 I percent. Said 25 and then I'm like, okay. Less. Uh, Rintero, Americans are ill educated. Um, what percentage of Americans identify Ireland on a map? Uh, no one's had this exactly, but we're close. 27%. 27%. Show us on the map, Jamma B. Uh, uh, okay. And that, okay. that northern part, that northern part up there, guess what, yeah. that, guess what that is? Uh, northern Ireland? Northern Ireland. This is crazy the way that works. <laughs> but it's a different government? What is that? It's a different oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I think the Northern Ireland's part of the EU and Ireland isn't or something something like that. Or no, part, Ireland is part of the EU and, and Northern, Northern Ireland is part of the UK. It's part, part of the UK. Yeah. Wow. It's very complex. They've been around a long time to mess things up. Wow. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is in how old was Mahatma Gandhi when he was assassinated in 1948? Does it when end in IX? <laughs> Only one card. Nine. And we he must have been nine. <laughs> <laughs> how old was Mahatma Gandhi? when he was assassinated in 1948. Well, it, he looked old in the movie. I'm going to go with 60. Um, someone matched 66. Oh, there's another. Oh, everybody's. Okay. Jamma B, how old? 70. Okay, Myra? 52. 52? Matt McGandy was... Oh! Myra, you were close. 78. Myra said 75. Yeah, but I also said 52. Oh. Caesar said 80. 80 is close to 78. What, what did you say, Jim? B? Caesar says 80. So that's close to 78. Oh, that's close. 78. Oh, this is absolutely impossible to answer. How many times does a woodpecker peck at a tree each day? I mean, they don't do it all day long. I but think man, just, when they do it, they're they're machine gunning into it. They really are. All right, I'm going with 500. How many times does the average woodpecker peck? I'm going 5,000. 5,000? Wow. 
Five thousand for me. Too many times, thousand times. I I, I see by by these answers, five hundred is pretty low. So I haven't looked yet. I'm I'm moving up to twelve hundred. Yeah. Myra. Yeah, I'm going to twelve hundred. Twelve hundred. And and Jamie B. Five thousand. Five thousand. How many times does the average woodpecker peck at trees each day? What was your answer, Jamie B? Five thousand. Oh. Twelve thousand. That's what you said, right? Is that what I said? Yeah, I yeah, yeah. She did that's what she said. Twelve hundred thousand. That's what she said. <laughs> Whatever it is, we're right. Yeah. Just, just, what what's, we a, what's a zero between friends? Yes, exactly. Um, what year was the first Coca Cola sold? What year was the first Coca Cola sold? It's got to be a long time ago. Yeah, 1800s. Um, Hekinos, I like 1888. Me too. It has a nice look. Let's all it has go a with nice... Hekinos and go 1888. It all it looks good, Myra. Um, 1903. 1903. No. Um. Oh, we were very close, Jamma B. 1886. Oh, so close. We were close. Two years. We we're late. even closer than Mike B, who said 1882. Oh, very good. Oh, very good. Where are we time wise? Uh, let's see. I, okay. I, I, I think it's time for me to interrupt the show. I haven't done this. In oh, a long okay. Time. Yeah, we did the okay. we did the IX card, and one yep. of the answers was tricks, and tricks are for kids, yes. and we remember that yes, commercial yes, yep, very well. Yeah. Yeah. Let's talk about mystery science theater. Now, Mystery Science Theater, they made fun of movies, but they would have commercial breaks. And in between the commercial breaks, they would do some kind of, sometimes they'd do these fake commercials. One of my favorite Mystery Science Theater episodes was called The uh, Wild Rebels. And they okay. did a fake commercial for a Wild Rebels cereal that's kind of kind of related to tricks. Um, and I'm apologizing to Beatmaster because maybe this will get us taken down. But... I'm going to play it anyway. We can edit it out if we need to. But here is Wild Rebels. Ha, ha, ha. Ooh. Let me push the buttons, and we will see this. Hey, kids. One, two, one, two, three. We're Wild Rebels. Crunchy, fruity rebels. Pouring milk on them is like shooting off a gun. It's Wild Rebel cereal, the nutritious cereal. It's like getting hit in the back of the head with a surfboard of flavor. Look, marshmallow fatties. Sugary Lindas. I got tangy twangy banjos. Crunchy oat rod. And Jeters, too. Die, Jeter, die. Kids, what are you doing in there? Having, Having a, a good, good breakfast, breakfast, Mom. Pour on the milk. One, two, one, two, three, four. Wild Rebels. Punching crunchy rebels. Don't bust your teeth on something sweet and hot. Wild Rebel cereal part of this complete breakfast. Hey, there's a cheap surprise inside. I got a gun. I got a sawed off pool cue with a leather strap. I got a chunk of hose filled with lead shot. All right, let's take it home. They won't get soft or squishy. Better eat them or you're a sissy. Just pound them down, you stupid clown. They're wild. Wild Rebel cereal, just eat them. And I apologize for that, but it's a favorite thing of mine. Okay. Yes, Beatmaster already is complaining. Uh, sorry about that, Beatmaster. Okay. Dun, dun. Let's see. We have 20 minutes. So we will do a... Oh, we're going to do our stupid food. Oh, where's J Jaffe's book? Uh, um, okay. How It's so funny. It, it looks like... The man is sitting in it, but he's not. Doesn't it look like the man is sitting uh, in it? It does. How is he not? Uh, what, no. He's sitting next to it. What is? That is weird. Oh, there must be something black in it? Yes. That and he's like sitting a... next to it. Oh, that's so weird. Okay. On July 10th, 2009, in London, the largest shrimp cocktail was served in a glass 
that was oh it just tells you how tall it is a uh, five feet tall <laughs> what did the shrimp cocktail weigh All right. what did the shrimp cocktail taste like <laughs> yeah and with a man in it no the man the man is not in the cocktail <laughs> so okay such a weird picture <laughs> the world's largest shrimp cocktail served in a five foot high Cocktail glass weighed, the log says 400 pounds, two tons, 420 pounds. You know, it's hard to tell because if it was like a restaurant, there's like a ton of lettuce underneath so that the shrimp is all at the top. Um, I thought they did that with marbles. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I'm I'm going 300 pounds. I will say uh, 200 pounds. 200 pounds, Myra? 500 pounds. Wow. 200, 300, 500. The world's largest shrimp cocktail. Oh. Hey, is it large 200, or shrimp? Uh, <laughs> 219 and a half pounds. Someone was close. What did you say? No, I, I don't know. 200. <laughs> I was 19 off. Okay. Uh, uh, um. So, all right, we're going to do snappy answers. So, this is snappy answers. Not, all right, it's just, yeah. That's okay. Very good. Okay. You can come up with, with it's slightly it's a slightly different kind of thing. Okay. It's an old man in bed and the reporters are saying, How do you live to be that old? Okay. Obviously by eating the largest shrimp cocktail. <laughs> shrimp cocktail in the world. Uh what do you owe your long life to? Okay, an old creepy old man in bed. Reporters are asking, what do you owe your long life to? And this guy wants to be a little snotty. So he says, by not dying, because I'm not dead, not getting out of bed, I'm all by ignoring. One. Yeah, Ranger yeah, Rick, yeah, not getting out of bed. I like that one. Ignoring reporters' stupid questions. Bacon, smoking, vodka, get out of here. Getting enough sleep. Not answering questions like that. False <laughs> JE uh, 286, a falsified birth certificate. Flintstones vitamins six times a day. Refusing to stop breathing. Booze and sex. Waking every day. Two bottles of whiskey every day. Not being a reporter. Uh, taxes and my wives. Um, avoiding people like you. <laughs> Slack of sli sliders every day. Um, okay. Well, a ton of matches to Al Jaffe's first one, which is, what do you owe your long life to? The fact I have not died yet. <laughs> and we match several other people. I owe it to heavy drinking, partying, chain smoking, and the number of things I can't mix, uh, mention in mixed company. And to not answer stupid questions. we got a lot of matches. Lots of matches. Uh, okay. All right. We have 10 minutes, so we'll do some match game. Uh, Dennis had an upset stomach. Oh, wait a minute. I think I hear Charlie. I think Dennis is... At least bringing Charlie down. And I, yeah, I hear Charlie, uh, call, Charlie starts coughing when he gets excited. So that, uh, that's, that's okay. Not Thank you. That's You're not, not going to play, right, Dennis? No. We don't like coughing puppies. Um, all right, chat room, we're going to do some match game. Uh, um, all right, pre. <laughs> So politically incorrect questions from many years ago. Big Bertha was so big. How big was she? 
She was so big, even when she stood under her, an umbrella, her blank still got wet. Big Bertha was so big, even though she stood under an umbrella, her blank still got wet. Actually, there's a very good, very clean answer. Oh, you decided to join us? Yeah. Oh, very good. Oh, okay. Here you go. Dennis, join us. Big Bertha was, Dennis, Big Bertha was so big, even under an umbrella, her blank still got wet. Um, big shoulders, boobs, hairdo, buns, hands, rear end, ego, rump. Uh, wow, well, I can't believe it. I have a clean answer and no one matched it. Uh, her purse. Uh, Jam B, is Alex with us? He is. Oh, great. Okay. Alex, we're going to start with you. Big Bertha was so big. Even though she was under an umbrella, her blank still got wet. Her rump, you got matches. Okay. Jam B, Big Bertha so big, even her blank still got wet. Her toes. No, no. Because we're giving it a match. We match. Thank goodness. Uh, okay, Myra. Uh, 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 okay, Myra got some matches. Her behind. I saw a rump up there. And big bum. And then it said, oh, I think, you know, I think this got a match too. Even her ego got wet. Someone said ego. Um, oh, one butcher said to the other, I think that new guy used to be a doctor. He's trying to cure that ham by giving it blank. One butcher said to the other, I think that butcher used to be a doctor. He's trying to cure that ham by giving it blank. Uh, all right. Uh, um, whiskey, giving it a shot, giving it mouth to mouth, a roast, smelling salts, that's funny, an, an exorcism, a spam infusion, swine flu vax, a ham radio, penicillin, Robitussin, mouth to mouth, Charlie, not yet. A physical, an IV. Myra said, I got a lot of matches. What did you say, Myra? Oh, okay. Uh, all right, we'll start with Dennis. One uh, butcher said to the other, the new butcher must have been a doctor. He's trying to cure the ham by giving it penicillin. And Myra said, uh, antibiotics. Uh, we'll, we'll match that. Uh, Charlie. <laughs> Antibiotics with a hyphen, no less. Uh, Jamma B, you says trying to cure the ham by giving it a smoke. Okay, Alex. New butcher trying to cure the ham by giving it an invoice. Uh, <laughs> Um, uh, mm, mm. the mayor of Nastyville said, The folks in this town don't like me, they just named the blank after me. The mayor of Nastyville said, The residents don't like me, they just named the blank after me. Charlie, stop it. <laughs> Uh, mine's a long answer, but I hope. Charlie, stop it. Uh-oh, Dennis wrote something dirty. Uh, oh, oh my goodness. 
Oh my goodness, I got tons of matches. Holy cow. Um, okay, we're going to start with me. Uh, the mayor of Nestyville said, people here don't like me. They just named the blank after me. And I think no one's going to write it. I wrote sewage treatment plant and got lots of matches. Myra. Oh, my gosh. Sewage treatment plant from Myra. And Dennis said, Charlie, stop it. You'll be. Um, oh, we'll, we'll match that. They named a port of sand after me. Uh, Alex, you said they named a blank after me. The city council? Okay. Nobody likes the city council. Jam Jamma B, you said they named... Oh, well, there you go. Waste treatment plant. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, um, okay. Um, oh. <laughs> Lorraine said, I had a tough weekend. Saturday, my boyfriend broke our engagement. Sunday, I broke his blank. Lorraine said, as a tough weekend. Saturday, my boyfriend broke our engagement. Sunday, I broke his blank. Huh? Almost time, Charlie. Uh, uh, uh. Legs, bank account. Oh, I don't think I got any matches. Manhood. Cement shoes. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Inhaler. Holy cow. Financial identity. <laughs> um, non disclosure agreement. All right, Alex, we'll start with you. Lorraine said, I had a tough weekend on Saturday. My boyfriend broke our engagement. On Sunday, I broke his nose. You got a match right out of the bat. Jamma B, tough weekend, broke our engagement. On Sunday, I broke his toes. Um, um, I said he, I broke his finger. Ring finger. Anyway, Myra. Oh, Myra said nose. And Dennis. Oh, Dennis said nose. Okay, one more and then it'll be Charlie. One more and then Charlie. Uh, um. Oh, did you hear what dumb Donald did when he visited? For, oh, no. Dumb Donald was so dumb. I never heard what he did when he visited. <laughs> Dumb Donald was so dumb. When he visited the farm, he shook one of the cows to try and get blank. Dumb Donald was so dumb. When he visited the farm, he shook one of the cows trying to get blank. Oh, come on. This is the two great answers to this. Uh, uh. Dumb Donald was so dumb. You're next, Charlie. Yep. You're next. Uh, milkshake, blood money, chocolate milk, uh, vanilla shake, whipped cream. A oh, whipped cream is very good. A glass of milk, a cowboy music station. <laughs> what? <laughs> a banana split. Butter. Butter is funny. Um, uh okay Myra, we're gonna start with you dumb donald was so dumb and he went to the farm he shook a cow hoping to get a milkshake uh dicky d said trying to get a milkshake dennis wonderland said oh you got some matches shook the cow trying to make butter jamma b you said dumb donald shook the cow trying to get cottage cheese uh okay and <laughs> alex you said dumb donald went to the farm shook the cow trying to get a milkshake yay all right ladies and gentlemen it's now time for oh my god oh my god he said oh this is going to be it this is right come on charlie hang on come here come here buddy come here, come here. Let me pick it up. Come on. 
<laughs> oh, there he is! Yay! Look at me! Okay, oh, let me get up here. Let me get higher. Okay. Okay, oh boy, look at me. I'm showing my tail too. Oh, uh, look at me. It's Char <laughs> Charlie, wow, he can't, he can only believe it. He said, What am I doing here? What am I doing as I'm wagging my ass? <laughs> oh boy, Charlie, it is so. <laughs> He is a right. He is so funny. <laughs> Charlie, oh my god, Charlie, hang on, hang on, hang on. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, just a second. Okay. All right. <laughs> oh, that is so he is just so funny. All right, so chat room. Oh, um let's see a week from tomorrow there'll be a halloween um virtual meetup okay at gizwiz.tv we're looking for videos of how you decorated your house or your neighbor's house and uh it's going to be at 9 p.m so it won't uh interact with a uh, uh, counteract anything at twit they should be done by then 9 p.m new york time uh, okay, you've been watching regular, old-fashioned Giz Fizz. Oh, wait a minute. Where's my... Oh, uh, uh, wait a minute. Uh, I was going through some old files and found a Goodson Todman production envelope. And uh, I, was, I guess I was doing stuff for Tattletales. So I was mailing it to Goodson Todman West. So it's a Mark Goodson, Bill Todman, Dick D. Bartolo, Dennis Wonderland, Myra Joyce. What is that music? Charlie the Dog. There we go. Charlie the Dog. Uh, Beatmaster, Jammer B, Alex Gumpel, <laughs> Super Roo, Okaroo, Dr. Mom. Um, Sly One, Pack NW, Caesar, Mike B, ZX, Ranger Rick, Magoo, Adam 24, Stooge, Geek Wannabe, Loke, George Davis. Oh, it's my, my chat room just stopped. Brought to you by Turtle Wax. It's not just for turtles anymore. See you Thursday for Giz Wiz. All right, chat room. Thank you very much. Jammer B, thank you. Alex, great to see you. Nice to see you, Dick. Happy birthday. Uh, thank you. It's oh, my God. How many? Weird Al to be on the show. <laughs> uh, how many tests do you have up there? Do you have to take them every day? Oh, no. Uh, Washington, we get them... Uh... Uh, we can order two boxes a month. Oh, from the, the old federal one. So I'm just wow. stocking up just in case. Uh, I need what's them. the expiration date on those? <laughs> July. Oh. So add a year. Uh, 22, 2022? Yeah. 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 Oh, I thought they said you could add six months to them. Is it now they'll it's, it's they a year good now, for a year? Yeah. A year. Okay. Very good. Very good. I, they're they're, um, they're arranged in, in expiration order. So. Wow. <laughs> That's wow. our Alex. <laughs> <laughs> very good and okay all chat the room bills in his wallet are in denomination order also oh okay yes. good we, we compared good. the order of our bills in our wallets when we first met it was you know a thing <laughs> yeah, i don't remember that yeah That's yeah but how do you put one dollar bills in order did you do my printing date anyway <laughs> okay numbers. serial numbers, yeah, yeah. Oh, serial, <laughs> serial numbers. Uh, okay chat room this is great fun thank you Thank Thanks you, for the birthday wishes. Okay. See you next week. Bye. Bye. Thank you, Alex, and thank you, chat room. That was great fun. And now, huh, look at that. It's time.